What's going on YouTube? My name is Mia from So today I got this um, package right here which contained 10 photo bought recently on Facebook Marketplace and I paid $1 for each phone so I guess um, $10 so let's unbox it uh, let me cut out to the opening alright so the box is open so there's a phone so it's going to be so right. let's see what phone did I got half free tight actually the first phone is this Nokia right here 6233 looks awesome the power one is kind of stuck on this one. Oh, never mind yeah LCD doesn't seem to be broken so let's hope I hope that is, that is working first phone this is another Nokia that I don't have LCD doesn't look it's actually kind of clean actually 7070D I don't have the exact battery for that but I just ha I got one battery for this one so let's hope that these work and next one oh Banker Simmons huh so this is the one I'm not sure it won't work it use uh, what appears to be my mini USB it has does have battery so I hope that this will work it's a Banku Siemens oh, actually my first Banku Siemens phone actually come on how do you take the battery out uh, I'm not sure how you are supposed to take the battery out on this one so yeah you're going to stay there I will, I will figure out later um, this Nokia right here is a slider phone. I don't think this will work. Is the 3600S? Looks pretty cool. I think the LCD is maybe damaged or something. Here's the Nokia. Is this 6130 what I'm saying 5130 I'm saying express music so I'm guessing it's one of these um s40 phones I will test that out to see if it works or not um oh this is the one I kind of wanted for my collection so is this 72 7230 sly s 7230 there we go it's this old slider phone um, LCD doesn't look to be smashed. I'm not sure. Okay, here's one of the Samsungs. LCD is fine. Um, it has a battery. Good because the one I have doesn't have. It's in the Samsung SGH E690. Yeah, battery might be bloated on that one, so I'm highly doubt that it will hold any charge. It's not bullshit actually. So I might have to plug it in. Let's see, do you have the charger for that? Um, yeah, I might have the charger for that. Here's the Nokia Six. Oh, this is the one. I'm not sure if it's going to work. It's kind of stiff on this one. So 6500S. That's the model. I can actually been looking for that. And there's two more phones. Here's the one phone that I kind of wanted for quite a while, actually. This is a Samsung S3600. Doesn't have a battery. Doesn't seem to. But I might have the battery that fit on that one. And last but not least, um, let's see. Hmm, this Sony Ericsson. So I kind of didn't destroy condition. And I guess this, this one had a broken flex cable. Yeah, I guess this flexible. This one's t done for. And let's see what type of Sony action is it. Um, how do you open it back? Yeah, I definitely don't have the battery for this one. It's a W595. I definitely don't have a way to test this. So, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we'll see. Let's test these together. Hey guys, it is the next day and here are all the finds that I got on on yesterday so I got so 
So I have characterized that these four phones are working and these here are either broken or, or untested. So let's start with the working one first. So this is the BenQ Simeon E81 and I don't see and this one appears to be unlocked to all carriers. I was able to get a battery out. This one is a forge and it's broken so what I did to test it is that I use one of these Motorola battery right over here and put out against this contact and it make it turn on just fine. So this is the battery that I got from my W220 and I use this for two phones actually. And I got it work. I haven't tested the SIM card because this one has some personal information on it. Same go with this one. This one I also have some personal information on it. It is a Samsung S3600i and I also have to I don't I don't have a battery for it. So I have to pull this this uh, Motorola battery to hold against its contact. I mean I'm gonna use the battery from this one. It's also came with battery that works. But it doesn't fit. It, it need a special one, so I might need to to do this. But it also has some personal information that I'm yet to delete it. So yeah, let's do some tape on it. And, yeah. It's a pretty cool phone actually. Um and like like those two work but I can't turn on right now because I have to hold a barrier against the contact in a weird position. But these two I will able to be turned on. This is a Nokia fifty one thirty and believe it or not this one is working. It is on No, it's actually not on any carrier that's three. And I got it pretty cool because these this is a music phone, express music I'd say. No back, no no back. Doesn't get any battery, but phone is at work, which is nice. I did a few custom thing about it, so yeah. These light up too um, when you play the music, which is pretty cool, actually. I guess. So, and this is the one I'm really excited about. So this is a Samsung SGH E six ninety. It's a very rare. I'm not sure if it's rare or not, but it's uncommon and I don't see much many video of this one. I haven't reset this one, I don't know the password well, but I did some customization. So yeah. Yeah, both screen work, everything works. I don't know what know what type of charger it, it, it use, so I have to pull up that thing over there. The universal charger. I have to pull that out. And I got it working, so really happy for this one because because this was in nice condition, really nice condition actually, and yeah, I really love this one because it's actually really sleek actually. Um, for a phone like Samsung, this they uh, tend to be broken, but I bought it for only one dollars each, and I got four working one, which is a bargain, <laughs> really. So. Also, did that was that um star shut up sound discover on Samsung phone, which is not I'm because I haven't heard that anywhere. Now these six phone are either broken or untested. So this is a Sony Ericsson W. Let's see, uh, uh, should show the model number. So W five ninety five, and as you can see, it is Chinese. So I actually have no hope of getting this one working. I do not have that type of battery and I have to plug into the charger and it doesn't and I I think the charger is broken too. I, I think that that Sony Ericsson charger is broken because I want to plug in my working W200i it doesn't respond so I guess that is a broken charger. I might need to get a good charger and a battery itself because none of my battery fail with this one. Now these five Nokia right here I have chassis and they all have problems so this is a Nokia 6233 and I pulled this battery out. I found this battery on a flea market. I think it was um, a few bucks. I'm not sure how much I paid for that one. But I found it on flea market not a long time ago and it had a white screen. 
it's run on S40 software so yeah I kind of said that the LCD is white but I think the cable may be the problem and with that fix I might have a working device I might have a working device next we have a free also a free very good one so 70 70d this one I think is called the prism there were, the seller also have a couple of the supernova series but they look awful and this one appears to be nice inside but we're powering on now I don't think that is, that LCD is cracked but that is a broken LCD actually there's no crack on the screen but I'm not sure what went wrong with the LCD it's the, the, that it works though I haven't tested this one, but that, but supposedly this light is supposed to be light out for some reason. So I might get a new LCD to replace on this one, and then it will work fine, which is good because these this one huh, these phone are pretty fairly easy to fix, really. As for the other three, well, you can't win anything. <laughs> so this one is a Nokia fifty no thirty six. 100s fly. I do, do not have a BL. I think it's a called BL4s battery that work with this one. This one, but I pull out this 5J, and when I turn test it, this is what happened. I have to pull the battery in a weird position. Oh, let me demonstrate it. Okay, there we go. So again, I first I thought this what the screen was the only problem, but I found out that none of these wanna respond, which is the re which I'm gonna assume that is flex cable issue. So yeah, not really worth fixing, but yeah, but who cares anyway? I might I always only got this for one dollar. So this one is even this one's even worse condition. I mean the slider was really really stiff. So Nokia 6500 S, it's very sorry condition, no bag, no thing. LC doesn't look cracked actually, I'm not sure, but there we go. So I pulled the battery in and I'm, I couldn't turn this on, obviously I thought it was the board is broken, but turns out it was a flex cable, it was a culprit. And none of these ones respond, and the power ones right here, so it wouldn't turn on anyway. But yeah, there's that one. That thing is expect. I expect that to be broken because because I, there's no way that you can get this for one dollars. That's working. I mean, I I mean, I got some some sometimes I got stuff like the seventy three seventy for really cheap, and they all work with minor issue. But yeah. Here is the front way though, only one that I consider broken. So Nokia 7230, and I put the battery in, it does not turn on. When I plug the charger, it also doesn't respond at all. I'm not sure why, but but the back, the light, none of these light up, so I guess the board is broken. So I want to see the screen. Does the screen is crack? Um, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to do a resale on this one because yeah it's not worth repairing so yeah i'm free so yeah the lot was not as successful as i wanted but at least i got something good out of it like this thing right here is a very rare phone actually it has has not been documented on youtube just yet and out of the nokia this is the one that worked and i'm really happy about it and i was able to get these two working off camera and yeah there will be shout out sorry shout out sound of these video coming out soon after this one i was trying to find the people who would try to repair them oh actually they're just these two phone right here i'm not sure sure the flex cable is worth repairing and this one i might have my uh throwing the parts bin 
So I actually, if you don't don't follow my channel, don't uh, don't see in Discord. Um, I actually kind of organize the collection of business big messing right now. But these are batteries and these are broken phone account. I have a couple of smartphones. These are working and these are broken ones. So I kind of categorize this here to make it more kind of like uh, to make it tidier. And I have some extra SIM card inside it. And here is where oh, my collection is currently sitting. And I kind of want to split the broken, broken one with the broken one. So I might split some of the extra for like, I actually have two of these and they are uh, in social condition. So that's another topic for the video. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later in the next video.